Now, crucial climate talks starting actually here in Rome at the G20. You've already conceded that there is no chance that we will get agreements in the next days to limit global warming to 1.5. So what's the very best that you can get out of COP26 next week? You're so right, Robert. There's, 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 we've got to understand, uh, where we stand today, there is no chance of, of stopping climate change next week. Uh, there, there is no chance of getting an agreement uh, uh, next week to, to limit climate change to 1.5 degrees. What we could conceivably do, if everybody gets their act together, what we could do is get an agreement that means that COP26 in Glasgow is a way station uh, that allows us to end climate change and allows us to keep alive that, so, so that, on that, on the plane, that dream of on restricting the, the growth to 1.5 degrees. That, make, that, that would make a huge difference to the prospects of humanity. And many would agree with you. On the plane yesterday, you said negotiating these commitments, these national commitments to reduce greenhouse gas emissions every five years is yes. not good enough. So have you spoken to other G20 leaders? Will they support what you want, which is for those negotiations to happen much more regularly, perhaps every year? Well, you made that point uh, very well on, on the plane yesterday, and it's something that the, the UK government has been thinking about for a long while. We don't want at this stage, Robert, obviously, to take any of the pressure off uh, of Glasgow and uh, and what we want to achieve at, at Glasgow. This is a, a a real moment. We've been waiting. It's not. It's six years now since the Paris Accords. Uh, we have a, a moment now when we can try and take some of the nebulous commitments in Paris, solidify them into hard, fast commitments to cut but, but, emissions. But even, to but cut even if you get an agreement uh, on coal things, but, even, so on. but exactly, but even if you get those commitments from developed countries to stop coal by 30 and developing countries yeah, yeah. by 40, that still is keeping us on a very serious course for warming. And, 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 and so, you know, Truthfully, if we have to wait another five yeah, years for more commitments, we're in deep trouble. Yes, but what, you, but what you're sort of asking me to do now is 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 is, is write off the chances of making any progress in uh, yeah. in COP and, and look forward to a further session to, for two years or three years. Hence, that's not what we want to do. We we, we want the uh, the COP uh, in Glasgow to focus on what uh, our country wants humanity, what wants those leaders to achieve. We, we want those leaders, more than 100 of them, coming to our country really to focus on the commitments that, that they can make, uh, moving away from the use of, of fossil fuel driven cars, uh, moving away from coal fired power stations domestically or abroad, uh, uh, planting millions of, of trees, about a trillion trees yeah. all in, and $100 billion a year, $100 billion a year to help the, the, the developing world. So coal, cars, cash, trees. Those are the four headings where we want to see progress. Now, you, we just had a budget. Yet again, you didn't increase the duty on petrol. You know, we all know that emissions from cars are one of the biggest sources of, of greenhouse gas emissions. If not now, when? But, Robert, this is the country, not the, we're in Rome, actually, but ours, the UK, is the country that's actually in advance of other European countries in moving away from hydrocarbon uh, driven internal combustion engine cars. We set. But uh, we don't a, have the right price we set, of carbon, we set, do we? We set, we don't a, we have set it. a deadline. You know that. And we it's not even a, on the no, agenda no, at, we're, at we're, Glasgow. We're going far faster. Than, you talk about, about fuel duty. We're doing something far more important. We're moving away from the use of internal combustion engine machines. Uh, we're, we're moving towards the use of, uh, of either EVs or, or hydrogen or, or, or a, a clean, green propulsion system. That is what we want. You could not have a more vivid metaphor for the risk that humanity is running. The Romans uh, thought they were going to go on forever. They thought that their, their empire was going to, to flourish uh, forever. Then wham, uh, middle of the fifth century, they hit uh, a complete crisis, uncontrolled immigration. Uh, you have the Dark Ages. The We're lesson, back to the middle of the, the fifth lesson, century. This the is lesson slightly is slightly gloomy. No, the lesson. No, it's the lesson is that things can go backwards, and 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 humanity, for all its brilliance and all its uh, genius, uh, can suddenly find that uh, you get into a convulsion, a crisis uh, where things get worse for a long time. And unless we fix climate change, uh, unless we 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 halt that massive growth in in temperatures, that's the risk we we run.